like to have uh, Owen as part of the group and part of a practice? Exciting. I mean, it's a kid that I've watched for a long time and uh, just just said hello to both his parents that uh, snuck in today and, and uh, obviously we were excited when we drafted him and, and today's a big day to get him on the ice in regular practice and uh, you know the market everybody knows this market so uh, add that to it. Don typically a number one pick walks into a situation that's not always ideal but right now you guys have a culture in place he's got a number another number one pick on the roster that there's not a ton of pressure on him to to be the savior, right? I mean, yeah, how do you no, see there's, this? There's the nobody here is, you know, we even spoke on when we traded and acquired Alex Tuck and uh, Peyton Krebs. Nobody's a savior. The, this group is going to do it together, and, and they're building together. You can see the camaraderie and the passion for uh, that they have for each other and for, for, you know, to put that jersey on. And it's fun. It's fun to be a part of as a coach. Uh, you guys that were all in the building saw this stick banging. You know, when Owen went in there, and you can just see a group of 20-some guys just completely immersed in themselves and, and nothing else uh, in, in the moment. And uh, that's fun to watch as a coach. And obviously when you add talent, and we feel we have a lot of talent, though, though it's young at this point, um, there's always that, that uh, energy and excitement uh, for us as coaches, knowing each day they uh, are getting better. That's fair as Oh yeah. <laughs> as far as Darlene goes, um, Bill, you can cut me off anytime. <laughs> as far as Darlene goes, I mean, he, Darlene's the number one overall pick, and he's about the same age. He's he's had a lot of success. He's had some struggles. How much could just Darlene Rasmus have that, an impact on Owen? Yeah, it, it's a huge, huge impact. I mean, to have somebody that uh, was selected, obviously number one overall in Rasmus Darlene. And, you know, the unrealistic expectations, you know, heaped on a guy uh, just to create stuff to talk about, um, you know, with every little mistake. And, and Dahls has done an amazing job with that. And I, and I think Dahls is, we have lots of guys excited that Owen's here, but I think what you're mentioning, I think Dahls has gained a lot of experience that I think he's excited to share. Uh, and Dahls is a guy that cares about his teammates and team uh, he is absolutely a team first guy. He, Rasmus Dahlin is amazing. Uh, the, the, the team first attitude he has, it's, it's just an instinctive attitude. And uh, he had been talking about Owen and his arrival for some time before this week. Uh, excited to, to meet Owen, to be around Owen, uh, and you can see that. Did you plan on switching the pairs anyway, knowing Owen was coming, or was that an outgrowth the last night? Uh, we had talked about switching you know last night I, I feel last night was last night it, it, it wasn't really uh, indicative of our team and how we've been playing and we wanted to turn the page quick this morning but we didn't make any decisions based on last night we just weren't ourselves so we don't want to overreact to last night uh, so no we had talked about these types of uh, uh, pairings and arrangements uh, prior um, so why drove the car with power to start well um, I mean Yoki's a right shot, and, and he, he did a nice job with Darlene. He settles things down. His personality is fit, and uh, and and Yoki is much like uh, Dolls. He's he's you know it's it's nice when you have two young guys like Yoki Haru and Darlene, and they already feel like big brothers. You know, so Owen's not in here, and they're already talking about you know when Owen gets here, I want to play with him, and I want to play with him, and they're you know so yet they play with each other, so they don't, they don't even know they're insulting each other by by saying I want to play with him. Uh, so, so it's uh, um, again, it's it, it feels right right now, and I think the most important thing for for us is to support Owen uh, as best we can as a team. I mean, you have 18 guys out on the ice that know our system up and down the rink, and uh, you know we just have to allow Owen to play and allow him to adapt and acclimate to, to the NHL. And I think we have many guys that will help in that uh, initiative. How is Owen acclimating so far? Have you noticed Great. teammates? Great. He, you know, if you think of how many teams he's been on in the last two years and the pressure he's had on him or the, the, the hype he's had on him for the last two years, it just rolls off him. He he's handles it pretty well, um, especially when he puts his hockey gear on. Off of the ice, you know, standing here could be different, but when these guys get in the locker room and they put their gear on, they're in their element. They've done this their whole life. They've dreamt about it. They've visualized it hundreds of times. So it's pretty darn natural for them. And I've been fortunate for me that I've had a relationship with Owen before this and, and have watched him grow as a player in person. And, and um, 
I'm excited for that because I've seen him since, you know, it, since he arrived on Saturday. What's been the process of getting him acclimated when it comes to systems and just he's getting just, him up to speed? Just sat in our meetings and we, you know, we talked, but we haven't thrown uh, a lot of information. I don't want him on information overload again. You know, even systems. If you look at through the National Hockey League, we're all we're all playing 80, 85 percent the same system. These guys know how to play the game, so we don't want to throw a lot at him. Uh, we haven't. We'll let him absorb it at his own rate. Practice was big to get him in practice and see how we practice and play and certain points of emphasis that we have. But it's all going to come somewhat, I guess, organically. We're not going to we're not going to push uh, and inundate him with information overload. You have three top teams on this trip. Kind of jump you would expect to see from them tomorrow, given the fact that the last two games against the Beach Mountains. Well, the, the jump from them, and I'm sure the crowd, I'm sure the building, uh, you know, that that's a big component too. And you know, there's a guy over there that I'm pretty familiar with. It's pretty hot right now, and uh, and you know, I, I've I've been with Austin when he's on surges, and <laughs> it's. Uh, that's another daunting task as well. So yes, it's uh, it, but it's exciting for us. I, our, our guys are excited. You know, you're in Florida, but you know there are lots of guys talking today. You you fly in here today, and it still feels like winter. Unfortunately for the people of Toronto, it still feels like winter, and that means it feels like hockey. And, and our guys were excited to get off the plane, and uh, they're thinking about tomorrow's game in that regard. As far as is, is Cody okay for tomorrow? Cody is going to be a question mark. So. You know, we had him skate. Uh, I haven't spoke with him after, but he's, you know, he's day to day. So he, he's, uh, I told him he's got to get a gauge today and we'll talk after and see how he feels. So, and it might not be till tomorrow morning that we, we see where he's at, but he, you know, he's, he's close, but there's no sense aggravating and making things worse. Upper, lower, can you say? Uh, that is, uh, no. <laughs>